Okay. Um, here, uh, what do you need to remember? I need you guys to remember if there's a 90 degree angle, this is 90 degree right here. That is C. It points to the letter C, okay? Whatever this is, if it's missing, you put C. If there's a number like this one here, see this 90 degrees is pointing to this, that's 120. So we put it under C, okay? And if, unlike this one, with the ladder situation, this, the ladder is C to 11, okay? And, um, that's what I need you guys to remember. It's pointing to C. Um, and here's number three, four, um, five, okay, six. And again, that 90 degree point to C. This is the circle, B, A, and B. Letter C, let's do the circle first. Okay, we'll do the half a circle first. An area of a half a circle is pi r squared divided by 2. For pi, you always put 3.14. For radius, in this case, um, this is radius, half of that. So the whole thing is called a diameter radius is then 6. And 6 squared divided by 2. You can use a calculator here. Um, Okay, um, you do 3.14 times 6 times 6, get that answer, and then divide it by 2, you get 56.52. And then you take the rectangle, um, area of it length times width, the length is 6, the width is 12, which is the same thing as over here. 6 and 12, we get 72. Um, and what you do is add them together at last. So add them uh, together, you get um, total area equals to 128.52. And meters squared okay and then here is we start out with the circle right circle is area equals pi r squared and for pi we always put 3.14 radius oops we don't know the radius I'm gonna look at it this way so that I can use this triangle instead doesn't matter which, but the number's already there. And this is pointing to C. C is unknown. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little A squared plus B squared equals C squared here. Nine squared plus four squared equals the unknown C. Eighty one plus sixteen equals the C squared. Ninety seven equals the C squared. Take the square root. That's close to ten, so it's probably nine point eight. Um, yep, it is 9.8. So um, C is what we call a diameter. This is diameter, right? So diameter is 9.8. So the radius then is half of that. Um, so what is half of 9.8 divided by 2? You get 4.9. So times 4.9 squared. So, um, okay, 3.14 times 4.9 times 4.9. You get 75.39. Because it's a 9 here, it turns into 75.4 rounded to nearest tenth at the end. Okay, now the next um, shape is the rectangle, right? Area of a rectangle is length times width, 9 times 4, you get 36 inches squared. And at the end, we add these two together. 
we get um, one hundred eleven point four inches squared. That is the total area. A T is total area. Okay, then here you should know how to find this one. Um, the distance of this line. This line is going up, right? So you go up. How many is that? Eight. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight over four. So you do Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Here's nine, the 90 degrees. And it's pointing to C. We don't know C, so we put C squared equals to 4 squared plus 8 squared, 16 plus 81 equals C squared, 97, oh, that's, we know the square root of 97 was 9.8, right? Because we did that right here. So this C is 9.8. Okay, and then you do this last one here. Um, this line is going down, down how many? Down 6 over 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hey, that's the same. No, this is 5 and 10. This is 6 and 10. Someone said this was the same thing. Mm. Not the same. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. They count it wrong. Plus 10 squared equals to c squared. 36 plus 100 equals c squared. 136 equals c squared. Take the square root. It's 11 point something because it's between those two numbers. 136 equals 11.66. So c, this is, this is 11.7. That length there. Okay, and then we did eight in class. Probably most class we finished it, but nine in class, just in case. Okay, now um, we did an equation for one of them, like this one is y equals slope is five over two x, y intercept is one, that's that one. Okay, we do the, the bottom one, so the y intercept is negative nine. And the slope is up four, five, up five over three. So the slope is up five over three. So the equation of that line is up five over three minus nine. And here the bottom one, this one here, um, the y-intercept is negative six. The slope is down 1 over 1. So the equation of that line is y equals down 1 over 1 minus 6. Okay, those are the two equations. Alrighty, that's it. Hopefully that helps.